Hello, dear church. The peace of Christ be with you. Atonement Lutheran has worked to ensure both the safety of its members following guidelines and access to our worship, prayer, study, and fellowship at home. But we have been collaborating with cluster partners to share worship and preaching, and have been sending out news and updates, as well as updating social media. I want to give a special thanks to Emmanuel Lutheran Church and Pastor Molly Sasser Gaynor for their hospitality and sharing of technology. We continue to work together as the church with Prince of Peace, St. Paul, Emmanuel, Emmaus Campus Ministry, and Our Saviors. We look forward to the arrival of an intern in August, but more about that in the coming month. While we'd like to meet in person with social distancing and, and hygiene protocols in place, recent spikes in cases and the presence of community spread sees us continuing our online, on the phone, and at home life together as the church. The council greets you and misses you and prays for your health and your witness in this time. I want to especially thank uh, Eric Armstrong today for his help in recording. Now a service of the word for home worship for the third Sunday after Pentecost. Let us pray. O oh God, you direct our lives by your grace, and your words of justice and mercy reshape the world. Mold us into a people who welcome your word and serve one another through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Our first reading today is from Jeremiah 28, verses 5 through 9. The prophet Jeremiah spoke to the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and all the people who were standing in the house of the Lord. And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. May the Lord do so. May the Lord fulfill the words that you have prophesied and bring back to this place from Babylon the vessels of the house of the Lord and of all the exiles. But listen now to this word that I speak in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who preceded you and me from ancient times prophesied war, famine, and pestilence against many countries and great realms. As for the prophet who prophesies peace, when the word of the prophet comes true, then it will be known that the Lord has truly sent the prophet. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our psalm today is Psalm 89, verses 1 through 4 and 15 through 18. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your steadfast love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our might is exalted. Truly our shield belongs to the Lord, our King to the Holy One of Israel. Our second reading is from Romans 6, verses 12 through 23. Do not let sin exercise dominion in your mortal bodies to make you obey their passions. No longer present any parts of your bodies to sin as instruments of wickedness, but present yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and present your bodies to God as instruments of righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. What then? Should we sin because we are not under law, but under grace? By no means. Do you not know that if you present yourselves to anyone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one whom you obey, either of sin, which leads to death, or of obedience, which leads to righteousness? But thanks be to God that you, having once been slaves of sin, have become obedient from the heart to the form of teaching to which you were entrusted, and that you, having been set free from sin, have become slaves of righteousness. I am speaking in human terms because of your natural limitations. For just as you once presented the parts of your bodies as slaves to impurity and to greater and greater iniquity, so now present your members as slaves to righteousness for sanctification. 
When you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. So what advantage did you then get from the things of which you now are ashamed? The end of those things is death. But now that you have been freed from sin and enslaved to God, the advantage to get is sanctification. The end is eternal life. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks. speak to God. God. The Gospel according to Matthew, the 10th chapter, beginning with the 40th verse. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Whoever welcomes you welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. War, famine, and pestilence prophesied by the ancient prophets are all around us today. We may wish to listen to people who speak of peace instead. We may long to say amen to their promises, but false comfort is worse than no comfort at all. Instead, in a hard time, we who have been baptized into Christ should offer welcome to people who speak the truth, and we should offer comfort, a cup of cold water, to the least and littlest ones, the ones hurt by these times. The true speakers are the very emissaries of God, and the little ones, the vulnerable and unjustly treated ones, are the very presence of Jesus Christ to us. The truth in Christ saves us, turning our bodies from sin to real righteousness, from death to real life, from despair to hope, from lies to love. O God of justice and love, we give thanks to you that you illumine our way through the life and words of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give us the gift we need, awaken us, of others, and at the end, bring all the world to your feast. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. And we pray as our Lord taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us now and forever. Amen.